Hi, we're in the next part. I was busy explaining some situation going on in my life and I am tying in together everything else that I'm talking about to help you guys understand the level of targetedness that Christians are enduring across the world today if they are speaking such an important message that... Um, that, that could potentially heal entire lands, entire nations, uh, because of this, because of, of, of being Micaiah, I've been locked up by an entire king. You know what I'm saying? And I'm eating meager portions of bread and water and they refuse that I should have a life at all. And I have proven without even really planning. I didn't embark on a journey to prove that YouTube is like doing me dirty. I am, I, I proved by happenstance that YouTube has blocked me on an IP address. Um, basis. And this is only because YouTube trusts that unlike other content creators out there, I cannot apply, I, 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 I very un unlikely, highly unlikely, I'm going to be uploading my content from any other device other than my Mac, all right? They have figured out where my video uploads come from and they trust and know that there is no other place I can upload from. Yes, I could upload from my cell phone, but really I don't want that discomfort, that disquiet. It's so much harder to work off a cell phone than off a... Plus, I want to prove that this is wrong, um, that this is what, what YouTube is doing to me so that YouTube can be humiliated. I am eventually going to put YouTube on their knees concerning me. They will eventually set my accounts free because I'm going to get huge on other platforms. And so therefore it's going to look weird on, on YouTube. Quen Ken, please go if you want to go because right now you're like disturbing my peace. Just go. The power cut has been lingering now. I think it's going on five hours. I don't know. Like what in the world is going on? It came back for two seconds earlier and then it left again. So I literally cannot get my, hair, my, my, my work done. But I'm tying in all of these events so you can understand how much the devil will do everything in his power to block um, an important message from getting out that people might find healing, that people might turn their hearts over to Christ and so heal their lands. The occult is desperate to maintain something to a point where they will very freakishly and weirdly just persecute a person that does not, has not had it coming and there's not enough going on about that person for you to be sufficiently threatened or intimidated by them and yet you are already in advance of them getting anywhere scared of them. Like, I am so tiny on YouTube that nobody should be scared of me. I'm, I'm not a threat. Not yet. I'm so small and I'm poor. My background sucks. My video quality whack. Despite all that, I have been shadow banned in a very sophisticated way. Other people get shadow banned based on channel. But if you start a new channel, you're good to go. You're driving. You've got a machine ga -ga 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 moving. I have been shadow banned on IP address. And I know that that is true because no longer are any new accounts I start going anywhere. So I was talking about in the previous parts how it is that South Africa is this funny little dystopia that's not even enabling the antichrist to lodge his agenda because there's no electricity to do that if there's no electricity you can't successfully work the mark of the beast what's gonna scan your forehead what's gonna do whatever that was just a joke do you understand but the wickedness of my country is what i am prophesying against the wickedness of my land is what i'm trying to wake people up to basically pray against, fast against, so they can be healed as a country. So whatever needs be uprooted as a monolithic structure in this country must be uprooted. And yet there is somebody sitting all the way in the United States of America that is deciding to prevent South Africans from respecting me. The lack of respect that I'm gaining even from South Africans is based on their classism, their elitism. The fact that my background looks like this, my ecosystem looks like this, my environment is unpleasant. So it's not aesthetically pleasing for me to be coming to you from this place. And so it's very hard hard for you to take me seriously because you are listening to a gospel that is anathema health wealth and prosperity girl gospel that tells you that every christian should be bountiful and prosperous actually in these streets bouncing around like a kangaroo that is what is being taught however i am in uh, um, influential enough and engaging enough for uh, albeit people having that as a mindset change it i am influential enough to cause people to change how they think about who christ is and what he's done so i can uproot false doctrine out of people and there is an entity that has mobilized an individual sitting all the way in the United States of America to block me from even South Africans getting to a point where they will be like, we need to stop disrespecting Karabo. This is what we need to do to pray for our country. So just so you can understand, these things are spiritual and they operate without borders. If they could find someone sitting all the way in the US to block South Africa from finding healing, then they will do that. So now I am not getting heard on YouTube. My channel is going absolutely nowhere on YouTube. And this is being done by an American. And the 
and that, that, that one solitary soul or that whole body of souls at YouTube that have made this decision, I am leaning more towards one solitary soul because I think it's just some miscreant, some derelict, some, some charlatan that works for YouTube that has done this to me that's sitting in the US that has literally pressed some funny little button that her bosses or his bosses don't know about. And I, I will say that because it is absurd and bizarre and I don't want to walk in a delusion of grandeur sufficiently enough for me to imagine that an, an entire big organization like YouTube will, from an executive level, decide to block some South African YouTuber with under 1,000 subscribers. She's not even monetized. Nobody listens to her and her views are binary code, ones and zeros. Who, at an executive level, sitting in another country, makes a decision to shadow ban someone so minuscule and meager as me? When they can go after Candace Owens, they can go after Russell Brand, they can go after, let me, give me a, a big Christian YouTuber, they can, they can go after, um, Nick Jones, who's growing like weeds there, um, his channel is growing quite quickly, or Alan Parr, or go fetch, uh, Living Waters, Ray Comfort, go fetch, who is this dude that has got an unmonetized channel, over 1 million subscribers, I love him, uh, 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 Joe Kirby, go, go and, and block Joe Kirby, like, if you want to be taboo, go and grab any of those other channels in the US, and, and they are more worth the eye checking out while of YouTube executives sufficiently enough for them to decide to pl pl like press some chunky ominous red button in YouTube to s shadow ban uh, me and yeah to shadow ban a person and yet they're doing that to some like meager South African girl I I'm literally so minuscule infinitesimal and just I'm no one presently anyway and yet I am eating meager portions of bread and water and there is a deliberate strategy to keep me locked up by someone in YouTube that is even going out of their way to un to dislike all of my content just as I have published it to not only discourage me that's not working but to also discourage the algorithm from pushing me further should it decide to push me further anyway because people are coming into my actual content to click on me whether or not I'm shadow banned and so therefore I'm not getting recommended to people afresh that's what's happening right I was growing on YouTube and then it suddenly just hit a brick wall I stopped a couple of months ago and I used to think it was spiritual until God made it clear that it, if it was spiritual you would have prayed it off really quickly it, you, you would have prayed it off really quickly it's physical this is somebody that is physically physically afflicting your channel on, on YouTube so like I said I am not going to be so pompous and so arrogant so as to imagine that an executive body of YouTube like senior personnel decided ubiquitously decidedly that I need to be blocked on IP address this is some charlatan who probably is earning an entry-level salary administrative vibes at YouTube that has decided to block me at an IP level because they know that I only upload from one computer. And I will tell you why I believe this is from an IP level. It's because I started a fitness channel on YouTube that has got no mention of Jesus in it no keywords of this nature and I'm just dancing in there trying to inspire people to get themselves nice and energized and I have I'm sitting on zeros I uploaded nothing but shorts in this channel shorts 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 which at a minimum will get you 30 people looking at you and evidence of the fact that YouTube has shadow banned me is in the fact that just on those shorts alone on TikTok my first upload I have already gained on TikTok 20 something followers just on that content and many views many hearts many likes and on youtube on facebook i've also gained about 20 literally the same number more or less the same level of growth on facebook and on tiktok i've got about 20 followers on tiktok and i've got 20 followers on on um what do you call this on facebook and many more likes than those follows whereas on youtube i am sitting with the same content uploaded on zero uptake zero zero i am not a person sitting on a conspiracy here somebody at youtube or a body of people but i will go so far as to say it can't be an executive suite because who the heck targets some silly south african that is struggling with her stupid country that keeps on turning off the power 24 hours a day when they have got so many other americans that they need to be looking at that are more taboo than me next